Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Battle for the Bosphorus playing as the Ottoman Empire. Italy has fallen, which means now we are trying to regain what little territory we lost. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with Iraq at some point, losing a core down there sucks. Now we are trying to save the Germans, and the Germans have put themselves in a pretty crappy position. Like they do historically, they are currently, you know, dealing with uh, all this nonsense against the Soviet Union, and they're trying to fight the Allies, and lo and behold... Turns out that's a little bit rough for them, so I'm trying to get some troops in position. I will happily let them retake everything we can get our hands on. Uh, the Americans might be spread somewhat thin. I don't even see where the Germans are. I see one German infantry, one German tank. Where did they even send their troops? Because it seems to me the Germans literally left the back door wide open, and I'm not exactly happy about that. That's, um... That's fundamentally stupid. That was a fundamentally stupid thing for them to do. Duty to make sure we take over this territory. Let's make sure that we can... Oh, wait. Eh, I don't mind you pushing up over here. That's not a big deal. We just need to grab a port so we have some supplies. Got it. You guys deal with this. You sit tight. You actually can push forward. We'll see if we can sneak around and grab this port. Nationalist Spain joins the Axis. That's fine. Because if they get called in, they can try to assist the Germans by attacking France from the south. That actually is great for me, so I'm very glad to see it. Hopefully they actually can do something with it. Uh, come on, please tell me we can finish off Tunisia pretty quick. The answer should be yes. I get in over here, they'll capitulate, and I'll get my core back. There we go, thank you. Okay. Are there any ships over here? There are not. So, first off, um... You guys... Honestly, you should go under a different field marshal, and you are supposed to be just garrisoning areas, specifically ports. I'm going to actually use them to garrison in Italy, because we already know that the Allies want to retake this, and we can try to prevent them from getting any sort of a naval invasion down over here, which should make it easier for me to maintain, and as we add in more units, we'll make that better. You are a part of this army? Yeah, you get up over here. Finish these guys off, please. They're retaking some territory on behalf of Italy. Amusing. We're going to try to sneak up here and grab this port since they left it wide open. While we pin these guys down and these guys die. You guys now actually can just go ahead and get deployed over here and just ignore the rest. We can get rid of some of these naval invasion lines. Don't care. And we need to train a lot more troops. How are we doing in terms of logistics? We are using up so much support equipment, it's absurd. Um, I need to train up, I think, just a lot of defensive infantry for now. We're going to do this a couple of times. And this is just to get a lot of um, units that can hold a front line, if nothing else. We want to hold the Germans against the Soviets. We want to hold the Germans against the Allies. If we can do that, we'll be set. We are winning this fight with the help of German tanks, I hope. The fall of Gibraltar. Thank you, Spain. Uh, we got troops moving up over here. Um, unfortunately, there are enemies uh, that have already taken this front line. So the Allies have a full front line completely filled out, and the Germans have nothing. I am so disappointed in all of you. Truly, you are a massive disgrace to the motherland. All right. Uh, still lacking in a bit of steel. Uh, the Germans losing a lot of steel is a huge deal. Try to take a bit more over there. We're going to reset ourselves a little bit over here. So let's try to deliver a bit less and we waste less of our factories. You should be able to demand all eight from Imperial Spanish something or another. Siam, I'll take what I can get. That's a little bit better, I suppose. We've almost got this port. If we move fast, we can take it. He's trying to make me stop moving, but that's honestly fine, because now all of you guys can move up over here. So you guys go over here, though, because we're going to attack from this direction, I think. They're sending some more troops. Uh, tell me you guys can get over here quickly enough. Republic of Chad is gone. Thank you. We are able to hold this. Okay, so as long as we hold on to this, they can't take over uh, that anymore. I do want to take... Um, you guys... And you're going to do a quick naval invasion up here to Malta. I'm going to do the same from here, I think. Just send a couple. We'll just try to remove this as a potential naval invasion point. You guys actually can stop working here, and you're going to do the same thing. Naval invasion support in the central Mediterranean Sea just to guard them, and that's all that matters. 
And you guys are going to set up over here. All right. So as far as air forces are concerned, um, you guys, I would love to assist up here, but you won't give me access. So the only thing I can do, really, is make sure you guys are... I, I don't know what to do with you, actually. I'm really not sure what to do. Forget the air superiority. Um, these planes aren't actually doing me a lot of good. Not a whole lot. Blue hasn't got a front line anymore. We need to go ahead and set up some new orders. It looks like Nationalist Spain did successfully attack from the south, so that's going to cause some issues. With my Mountaineers, we should be able to punch through that. We're going to have to micromanage a lot of these fights, because we don't want to take any unnecessary losses, obviously. Okay. I think we've stopped the bleeding for Germany. They may lose ground over here, and that's one more reason why I need more troops. But for now, you were able to do something. You guys, it looks like, will be able to finish these guys off, which is great. You're going to push through here. You're going to push down through here. Get up that direction. Nationalist Spain actually has some colonies over here, which is hilarious. Take what you can. Red is still pushing in Africa and honestly doing a fine job of it. Let's clear the last of this out and they're going to capitulate. All right, more camels are on the way as well, so we're going to be fine in Africa. I think we now have enough reinforcements there. With Spain's help, I think we can start pushing these guys down a bit. Pushing these guys out of France and making sure France doesn't have any more ground would be awesome. Send you guys. We are going to want to create another quick little front line right along here. So once you guys are done with that, you can go for a planning bonus along like this. Just to get Corsica the heck out of here. Don't think they're going to have much. But as soon as they finish this, they should automatically redeploy up there, which will be great. Um, you are going to go basically as soon as you are able to, which should be in just a few days. We'll see if you can grab Malta. Okay, Germany. Uh, Germany might lose Denmark. Uh, they may even have some troops up here. It's hard to say for sure. We are getting pushed back here, and honestly, we need to pull our front line back and make sure we're not getting too spread thin. Something like this will be fine. But more than that's risky. All right, spies. I realize I have not done much of anything with them, and that's obviously a mistake. We should start spying over, let's say here, and try to get some intelligence. I should also start spying on the Soviets with the intention of setting up a collaboration government against them. Reason being, that will make it a lot easier for me to get them to capitulate and also take what I want if we do go to war against the Soviets. It's all completely dependent on me being able to push out the um, allies once again. But there we go. Now, one thing that's unfortunate is the Allies are basically completely ignoring Japan. And they're spending everything they've got to go and deal with Germany. Which, uh, sucks. Because if they were dealing with Germany, we could actually, you know, do something. But, no. They're not doing that. Which, you know, whatever, I suppose. Um, it's okay. Don't like that they're gaining ground over here, but that doesn't matter. Spain will probably help take them out eventually. All right, let's get all these troops up in position. We have extra infantry anti-tank for a little piercing value. Land night attack? Um, maybe. Radar won't do me a lot of good. We've already finished as much as I'm going to over there. We could start going down some fighter upgrades. I don't really have the equipment I need for that. Uh, we probably should start improving things like anti-air and anti-tank. It's a bit ahead of time to go for any of this, so I don't need it. I'm going to go for the land night attack, because that could be helpful. Potentially. Oh, still need more steel. Still need more steel. Um, can we resume the construction of anything useful, like over here? The answer is yes. We can get at least a little bit. There's no point in me building more of these military factories until I have more steel. It's just a waste of my time and effort. So we're not worried about any of that. Uh, we could build up some more infrastructure up here to get some more. We could try getting a little bit more over here. That's not worth it. There's a little bit up over here we could get. A little bit up over here. Every bit of steel counts. I don't think we can get much more than this, though. 
Um, we can do a bunch of different decisions. We could go for fleet coordination. Don't know if I need that. Could blow the Suez Canal, which would be very interesting. It would certainly prevent the Allies from getting a lot of their fleet redeployed. Still trying to redeploy, uh, pay off our debts. We could spend our factories to try and get 28 more steel in Citus, which would be great. Could also get four more over here, which is just kind of okay. I don't have a ton of factories left to work with, though, so I'm not sure I want to. Alright, is there anywhere I can make a push? I kind of need them to exhaust themselves against me while Spain continues to do their thing. So I'm actually kind of thinking maybe what we want to do now is pull our troops off of this and just hold the ground. Hold the mountains. And send everything we've got up over here. And I am thinking that's the right way to go. I don't want to fight in the mountains. I gain nothing fighting in these mountains. Um, it's just going to end up costing me a lot. We'll try to assist the Germans to hold this ground as much as we can. But beyond that, it's not worth it. You guys now, though, are going to push up along here. And we're going to try to counterattack against the Allies and push them out. Okay? Speaking of counterattack, it looks like there's a couple areas we can move over here. I'll happily start taking away some of your um, ports. If we push up over here, we might be able to surround a little tank. Which isn't great, but between both of these guys, if we can do that, you know, I'll take what I can get. This is where I think a lot of the, um, I think, I think this is kind of the do or die moment. The Germans have to survive long enough to assist me against the Soviets in the UK. At which point I'm okay with the Germans dying. That doesn't matter. I don't, don't think for a second that I have any love for the Germans. I, I, I absolutely do not. But, we have to be ready for them. You guys should not be set to aggressive anymore. We do want you to do this, but only once you're sustained. We do want you guys to push along here. And we'll try to kick these guys out of Africa. As much as we can. This is all messed up. Try for something like that. But I also need to take a few of you over here. Like seven of you or something like that. And we'll send you guys to try and clear these guys out like so. Okay, now you guys are free to go. Let's make sure no one's set too aggressive. I don't want to waste any equipment. The only people who are actively pushing without any direct micromanagement from me are going to be in Africa. You guys should have your troops pretty much in position. Let's see if we can now push against over here. And the answer should be yes. I don't think they're going to have much of equipment. You guys are still a few days away from going for the naval invasion. Troops haven't arrived over here yet. Start sending you guys up to Italy since that was sort of the original plan. Okay, United Kingdom decrypts me. Well, that's annoying. You stop attacking. Doesn't accomplish anything. We were able to surround this tank, which is awesome. Let's take them down. See if we can get over here, cause a bit more panic, try to get to Stettin. The Germans should still be able to supply the, any troops they've got up here, if any. If we can start getting up to Denmark and start applying a bit of a noose around Berlin, that would be great. Try to encircle all of these units. The Germans are still spending pretty much everything they've got trying to fight in Dunkirk, which is an odd choice. These guys have left themselves somewhat open up here if we try pushing this way. We could try to cut them off from Amsterdam, but I think that's a trap and we'll spread ourselves too thin. We're in a relatively defensible position right now. I don't want to push too much more than this. The Americans are still trying to fight against me over here. We're losing some ground. These guys need to stop what they're doing. I, I keep telling them to follow specific armies and I feel like they don't actually do what I tell them to. You need to be doing some close air support and stuff in France. Oh, finally, we have self-propelled artillery. What do you know? Okay, with the self-propelled artillery done, that's great. I'd love to go for mediums. I don't have the industry to support that yet. We're going to go for the improved anti-air. Because reducing their air advantage would be pretty big. Don't forget, they have a lot of them. Why are we not controlling Essen and defending it? I don't know. I feel like we ought to, but we're not. Can you guys actually push up here? No, we don't have enough organization for that quite yet. Now we're protecting it. Good. 
Okay, you guys have still kind of left them vulnerable for some reason. If I can push here, we can get a small encirclement. I don't know how much more I want to keep pushing this direction just because I'm going to get spread too thin. If I send you down here to assist, we can try to encircle a few units in this area. Keep tightening this up so these troops can redeploy and move up toward Rostock. Then Magdeburg and crush. All right, we're making really good progress here thanks to Spain. These guys actually feel like they can move now. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to attack. Logistically, we are mostly fine, actually. Doing okay. We're holding our ground. Rather, France don't get Paris back. I feel like that would be a demoralizing victory, if nothing else. Okay, this is too much for me to handle. They're holding their ground in this area. You need to stop attacking. I don't know why you're there. Can we do a little push right here and have one of you go along here and encircle a single unit around Nuremberg? I mean, maybe. These are small, these are small plays, but whatever. Okay, you go here, you start getting up to Stralsund. We are sort of successfully pushing down here. Let's see if we can grab Berlin back, actually. Because he's kind of left Berlin open. Which feels like a mistake on his end, but maybe. He's trying to push me out, he's redeploying. I see some French tanks. But I think he's going to let me get Berlin back, weirdly enough. Alright, you actually turn around, head over here. We're going to try to tighten the noose around these guys. Pin them down, don't let them get to Berlin. It's not going to last long because we have very little organization compared to them. Uh, oh, wow, okay, yep, this is a lot. Um, we did manage to surround these guys, though, so worst come to worst, that paid off. Finish these guys out. Get some more reinforcements up to the front. Okay, we may not be able to hold on to Berlin. It's hard to say. Need to stop them. Pin them down. Try to burn off their organization so we have a time to entrench. We were able to get through here, so this actually could be a small encirclement as well. If we assist against this tank or if we take out the cavalry, the cavalry is going to fall fast. Okay, we actually got another encirclement. And he's going to leave his tanks to die. That's great. Okay, okay. Yep, small little attacks. Here we go. How are we doing over here? Struggling. Unsurprisingly, but the Spanish are on their way to assist. I feel like we're just wasting a lot of equipment over here. I feel like we're not going to make much ground. It's just me. And this is going to be pretty well entrenched. I want him to attack me and waste his equipment. That's what I want. You finish these guys off. Did we land over here in Malta? We did. Oh, that finishes that nonsense off. All right, back to your original goal, which is to do area defense of the ports specifically in these areas. He likes to go for this stuff, so we'll defend over here. And that'll be good enough for the moment. So I think with the loss of Malta, I think that means that the Americans and the um, Brits likely don't have the naval range to get very far over here anymore, except for maybe right here. So, as a, re a result, I think we've successfully been able to push them completely out of the Mediterranean. Now that is good. That's great. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We are making progress over here. Keep pushing these guys down. Let's make sure that these guys all die. We've got Berlin back for you, Germany. I'm doing my part. I'm doing more than my part. Uh, we have troops. Thank you. Mountaineers. Yes. Let's send you guys to join up in purple. I don't actually know that that's where I want them to go, but that's fine for now. Get your steel back, Germany. Get that steel back. Non-aggression packed with a bunch of folks. Um, no, I don't, I don't see any reason to do this. Kind of irrelevant. We have enough political power we can do something else. What would I want? Probably, uh, I can't do closed economy. Yeah, we're not fascist or communist. We need to finish this paying off of our debts. It really would make a huge deal. Huge advantage if we could do that. Populism, political power gain. None of that will help me. Jihad, war support's fine. Manpower, support for online, we're fine on all of this. No, we don't need to do anything there. We're just going to save the power for something. I don't know what yet, but we'll save it for something. Okay, we're trying to hold the ground over here. Spain made a push. Good. 
Let's get these troops off of this front line. It's no longer relevant. And as a result, I'm going to try to spread out a bit more. We can actually try spreading our troops out all the way over to Paris. Okay. No, this is fine. We'll spread out over here. Just give you guys an extra bunch of entrenchment. That's all I'm trying to do. We now have more troops heading over to Frankfurt, which means we can start doing some fun things there. I can punch through here. Uh, I don't have enough troops. I need tanks. Now we're in territory where tanks would be super duper good. Because we're getting into a load of flat land. Lots of flat lands. Alright, let's get up to Stralsund and to Rostock over here. We can join things back up for the Germans, let them get their troops back. Germany should have less capitulation chance now. They are back up to only 26% of the way toward capitulated. Okay, we're doing our job. We're doing our job. We're pushing the Americans out. We're pushing the Allies out of here. This is very, very good. Okay, I need liberation of Paris. Nope, 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 nope. You're not allowed to have that. All you guys get reassigned up there. Spain is pushing very aggressively to the south. Relocated a palace. I like that. What else do we get as far as a national focus? Now we can go for the Path of the Wolf for submarines, or we could go for the fighters and tactical bombers. Um, I honestly want Air Doctrine, but I think I'm going to go for the submarine upgrade. As we eventually have to start facing against... Do they have anything over here? Can we get this? As we start facing up against Japan in the future, we're going to wish we had an absolute ton of high-level submarines. So that's what I'm going for there. Can we surround and take this guy out? Maybe. Get a little encirclement right there, that'd be great. Finish this off, please. I'm tired of wasting my troops. We're retreating here, which is dumb. But this is going to free up seven more divisions to go back to the front lines. We were successfully able to get this back. Push here. Come on, Germany. I need you to get your steel back so you can trade with me. That's what I need. Trade, trade, trade. Thank you. Steel. Yes. All right. Now we're going to start being able to produce again. Oh, what's going on with Portugal? No, sorry. Imperial Spanish Morocco. Sure. Take what I can get over there. Why are these guys not dead? You're supposed to be dead! All right. Finish them off. There we go. All right. That clears up troops. Good, good, good. You guys can now spread out your front line all the way over here. It's a little thin, so what I'm going to do is pull you back to here. Pull purple back up to here. Uh, If we can finish this off and push them out of Ghent, I have to think that's good. I do not like that they're trying to push... No, are they able to push over to here? I don't think so. Yeah, get these guys out of Ghent. They got practically no troops. We can finally end this nonsense in Belgium. We can start pushing over to D Dunkirk and get these guys out. My troops are spreading out very nicely to defend. How are we going as far as more troops? We got tanks on the way, lots more infantry on the way, lots of garrison troops, and a whole bunch more infantry here. What am I going to do with you? I don't know yet. Uh, more camels are going to be deployed in Africa pretty soon, at which point I'm going to pull red back and let them do other things. We did finish these guys off. Can you guys get to Dunkirk? Let's see real quick if I can do something over by Dunkirk. I'm going to do this. Sign the three of you here. Front line there. Let's see if we can get you guys out of Calais. Every little staging ground we can remove is big. Can you guys push over here toward Magdeburg? Can you guys also push up here toward Magdeburg so we can surround a few more troops? I think the Allies might be starting to pull back. Which is great for me. I'm going to try to get over here toward Weimar. Nope, nope. They've got more troops over here than I thought. So that's not going to work quite as well. So we need to hold some ground. We actually need to push you out of there. He's got very low organization, though. Can you guys get over to Magdeburg? Because we can surround a few troops if we can get over here. I think we can beat this. More troops. Infantry. Okay, we're going to take, let's say, two of you. We'll assign you to purple and make them a full army. Whoops, one of you guys messed up. Uh, let's move some of you guys to fight over here. Three more here. And the remainers are going to go to red, I guess. Could send more troops up here, but for now I think we're all right. Once all these troops are more or less done against the Allies, what I do is I turn around and we get ready to fight against the, Ger uh, the Soviets hard. Now, as far as spying... 
I think we need to infiltrate the civilian government. I need a lot more network strength. Um, this spy who was here is no longer relevant, so we're going to spy against the Soviets a bit more aggressively over here. We just need a really aggressive spy network. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can go faster if we set up a second over here. Yeah. Let's just try to get our spy network up. I need to infiltrate. Oh, Norway's getting freed. No, 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 no. We need to infiltrate. We need to get a uh, collaboration government ready. I don't know if we can get a single level of it ready in time. It's going to be difficult. But if we can, having a collaboration government against the Soviets is probably the single most useful function of collaboration governments I've ever seen. It's really, really good. Can you push along here? We're going to try to surround these guys around Leipzig as well. We are surrounding all of these troops, so they're going to start dying. Yeah, this is good. This is good. That's more surrounded and dealt with. Dunkirk, you guys honestly should just die if we attack you here, right? Not quite. They're holding fairly well over here, but the Germans are attacking as well. I don't think they'll last. Okay, they can't push any further out of France. I like where this is going so far, guys. I think my grand master plan is working. Save the Germans, use the Germans, kill the Soviets, kill the Allies, win the game. Oh, and Dunkirk is done. Nice. Okay, so the Germans were able to finish that off. Excellent. So that's one more staging ground gone. We can now send more troops over here. Good, good, good. If we can push along here. See if we can get a surround on this. That would be great. These guys need to die. These guys need to die. I think the one thing I'm most terrified of at this point is just screwing up. Because I feel like we've been giving a golden opportunity to actually turn the Ottoman Empire into an actual legitimate powerhouse in this game. I think we have a chance to actually go for the super achievement. Crazy, I know. I need more troops over here. But if we can do it, dude, like, holy crap, wouldn't that be fun? It's one of the hard- it's the hardest achievement, I think. The hardest achievement that was introduced in the latest expansion. I would love nothing better than to get it. Yeah? You know? Take a situation where I'm like, dude, there's no way we win this, right? And then actually get the freaking uh, hardly anything serves achievement. It'd be so stinking cool. We'll see, though. We'll see. Gabonese Republic has capitulated. That's Gabon, sorry. Uh, so they're gone. Good, good, good. Still got to push through more of Africa, but we got so many camels that are going to be on the way. It's fine. Spain's not doing anything over here, as far as I'm aware. We will have to eventually fight Spain when we do fight the Germans, but that's fine. I really don't mind that arrangement. My troops now feel comfortable attacking and winning. Are you sure? I mean, if you can. Let's see, I need one of you guys to get up over here and attack. I need you to pin them down, don't let them go anywhere. You come up over here and attack as well. Actually, no. You come up over here and attack here. You get over here and attack here. If we can surround a few troops around Leipzig, that'd be pretty great. Oh my god, I cannot believe we're going to be pulling this off. Then I can force all my troops to France. We can crush France. Oh, what's going on over here? Did Spain land in Ireland? What? Oh, that's funny. That's just funny. All right, let's get improvements for my anti-air. Uh, we do need to start producing better anti-air. Let's do that now. It doesn't cost me anything extra in terms of my um, steel, so, I mean, that's great. Uh, not a lot of steel still on the market, unfortunately. Get as much as we can out of Japan, though. Argentina, Cuba, just kind of meh. Um, yeah, still not quite enough, but we're really close to having enough steel. I want encirclements. I want encirclements. Encirclements are going to let me crush the allies with very little uh, losses. Maintenance companies! Oh, what do you know? All right. So this is something I want to start installing onto my troops because I'm very curious if it is actually as good as people say. The equipment capture ratio as we continue to crush the allies could be really good. Especially if we keep upgrading it. So we're going to try. We do want to install it on these guys regardless for simple reliability. Uh, I did need to start getting some factories on my self-propelled artillery. And for that, I'm going to get you guys some extra gun armaments more than anything. And a little armor, maybe. This should be fine. 
So we do want to start producing some of this. And by some, I mean like a fair bit. For that, I need a lot more steel, but I would love nothing better than to upgrade my tank units into the crusher of all infantry. It murders everything in sight. All right, um, we're out of time, but... Yeah, so France is going to be the next big hold, but if we can deploy all of our troops, we'll be fine. Germany still doesn't have a lot of troops over here. They're still sending almost everything they've got against the Soviets. The thing is, when the Soviets fall, if we join a war against them, the Germans are going to have so much war score, it's going to be ridiculous. But, it's okay. The Germans will be in their uh, week, and I'll be able to crush them following that immediately. But we'll see. So, I think now is the time we go ahead and tell you guys to go. It's time to begin the assault. Now, we may lose in a few fronts. We do need to get our planes all set up. You guys honestly need to all basically send everything you can over here toward northern Germany. Is there any other airport I can use that's closer? Not really, because we don't have the proper basing. That sucks. Alright, um, you guys are actually going to go help over here then. Yeah, we can't really reach up here toward Berlin. I wish when you got military access, if you were, like, helping out in a war, you could access their uh, fighters as well, but no. We did manage to get these guys out, so they're going to get uh, surrounded. Ireland capitulates to Spain. That is just amusing. You get over here, so these guys have no avenue of retreat, so we can crush them real quick. Same thing over here, so these guys are going to die. Struggling around the Netherlands, but we're pushing very aggressively up in northern Germany around Hamburg. They're going to fall apart. They're trying to attack me, but they're just going to keep wasting all of their equipment. I should be fine. You guys have nothing better to do, so I'm going to send you guys up over here. And we're going to use you to try and push over to Brittany. And see if we can start pushing you guys out. Actually, the other question... No, okay, the entire Royal Navy is here. No way in heck we're going to get to do a naval invasion of the UK. Which makes sense. The only option is going to end up being paratroopers, which, guess what? I haven't researched at all. But that's fine. Hey, Japan has more steel. Give me. And everything we got. All right. This is a very good place to end. We successfully defended the Germans. Crush the Allies. Get them out of here. Let the Germans hold their ground. Then we go and take out the Soviets. I think I can justify a war goal against... I have a non-aggression pact. Right. I do have that. Um... I have to end this. This is actually perfect timing. The non-aggression pact ends in a month, right? So that's very, very good. We will want to rapidly deploy a few more troops, but we've got more on the way. We'll set up front lines. What we're going to do is attack them, of course, through Bessarabia itself and down through here. Uh, also through Iran. We should be able to use my allies to punch basically through the southern underbelly of the Soviets where they're not going to defend worth anything. And we won't get a lot of the war score, but we can force them back off the front lines. I'm not really eager to help the Germans gain a lot of ground. I want the Germans to continue struggling, but if we can push up through the south and get our way up to Moscow, we will be golden. Alrighty, well, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, let's go ahead and see what it is.